You can take any cylindrical container, whether that is an oatmeal, a cardboard oatmeal container, or this is an old coffee can, and I'm going to pounce some paint over it which you don't have to watch. I'm using the Pentart acrylic matte paint. And I'm just going to cover this whole thing with one quick coat of the Pentart paint. And I'll come that right pouncing the paint on allows the paint to go a lot farther than if you were to just paint it, then you kind of have to add a couple of different coats. This also gives it a little bit of a stone look, although we're still not going to see it. This is just so that none of the silver from the coffee can shows through. And you want to get the bottom also. I'm going to put this aside to dry. And I am not doing the inside because I'm going to put a candle in here. I will be right back. guys because we are putting a napkin over this to make it look like a tree a branch rather but because it's a branch we don't want it to be flat and smooth it already is it but I'm going to add some hot glue and you want to zigzag it not make anything look too perfect because the branches Never look perfect. And you can go heavier in some spots, lighter. And I'm going to do this all around my piece. Let this dry for a second. So Hot this looks dry. lovely right now, doesn't it? <laughs> it's all dry. And you'll see when we decoupage the napkin on here, how different it looks. This just happens to fit. Yep, looks like it'll fit completely. But here's what I want you to do. Take a piece of saran wrap, or if you have a gallon bag, plastic gallon bag, you can put a sheet of it under your cylinder that you've just worked on. So you apply your decoupage glue. Now you wanna make sure you get into all of these spots in between where you just put the hot glue. So that's going to take a little bit of work and you want to use a bristle brush because a sponge brush will come apart during this step. And you can do this all at once, cover the whole piece all at once, or you can do it in one section at a time. When you're worried about wrinkles, you really want to do things in smaller sections at a time. And in this piece, you're going to want wrinkles 
because that's what logs look like, very imperfect. So I'll cover the whole thing and come right back. So I'm going to lay my napkin down. Just ignore this little bit of decoupage glue that I splashed on the plastic. I turned the plastic over because you want a clean sheet of plastic and you wanna lay the napkin face down on that piece of plastic. Then you're going to line up the base of your container with the base of the napkin. It's better to have it overlap a tiny bit down there. And now, I'm going to pull up these corners and start to press down the napkin using the plastic. So the plastic will not stick to the napkin, but the napkin will stick to your surface and you want to press everything down. Now I'm going to remove the plastic and just for now, I'm going to let this part dry and then I'll come back and show I'm you going to the make next a few step. little leaves out of air dry clay. You can buy these little embellishments in the craft store, sometimes the dollar store if you like. I've been using the DOS clay and that's because it doesn't shrink like some of them do. It is not sticky. I still habitually add a little cornstarch or baby powder inside my molds. Again, if you want, you can just go ahead and purchase some of these embellishments so you don't have to make them. And this is just a little tiny thing I'm adding to the front. So these are air dry, they'll dry shortly, and I'll add them on the front. Now that this is dry, you can see what I was talking about. You can see the ribs in here. And you could also have used air dry clay to wrap around this. If you were using a coffee can like I am, or you could have just doubled or tripled up on that wrap that I used originally. so that I can add my little clay pieces here in the front. They're not even dry yet, but that's okay. They'll dry overnight and the glue will work just fine. And I'm going to add a little more of that glitter just in certain spots around my piece. So I'm going to take that same damp brush, wet brush, and dip it in the clear glue. Guys, the links for everything's down uh, below the video. If you read the description and click on where it says more, it'll take you to my Amazon store and uh, another store where you can get the decoupage glue. I'm, I'm trying this uh, new decoupage glue that I'm really liking and I wanted you to see it. And you see these raised spots on here that where the hot glue is? That is where I'm adding a little more of the clear glue in some spots because I just want it to look like there's a little bit of glistening snow on the bottom of this. So you can see that is a very subtle amount of that glistening glass, which looks like snow. Just tap it a few times to get any excess off and let it dry. OK, 
Okay guys, here's how our finished coffee can looks. You can't really see the ridges in it when you're looking at it like this. I think if someone were to pick it up and look closely, you might be able to see it. But other than that, you can use these same steps on an oatmeal container. Here it is with a real candle in there. And I say real as opposed to the electric candle, which I'll show you in a minute. So you can see there's even a little bit more shimmer around there. And I added a little bit of that shimmer to our clay leaves and over certain raised areas where I put the hot glue. So my friends, I will now add the electric candle just to show you how that looks in there. So there's one of the faux candles. So there's our finished project. Put a real candle or the electric candle in there, that's up to you. And that's our project for the week. You can like and follow my page, Patio Elf, on Facebook, P-A-T-I-O-E-L-F. And that way, Facebook will let you know as soon as I put a new video up, it'll take you right over to YouTube so you can watch the DIY. All right, guys, thanks a lot.